Is it just me or do monitors seem to be getting rather obese lately? Like really obese. Sorry, big boned or ultra wide. Recently, I decided to give one a go. I recently had an awkward ultra wide phase. You don't know if you're gonna like something until you've tried it, right? So I got myself an LG 25UM58 ultra wide monitor. They have a 2560 by 1080 resolution, an IPS panel, and let me just say, I love IPS panels. I, I can't stand TN panels. They just hurt my eyes. Maybe I'm getting old and picky, but that's just what I've found. I'm not gonna go into detail between the differences of an IPS and a TN panel or any other kind of panel for that matter. There's plenty of good comparison videos out there and I'm sure you can find one on your own if you really wanna know about it. Now, I am by no means a gamer. I have no time for games. I'm all about the productivity. So I thought an ultra wide monitor may be good for video editing. So I'm using DaVinci Resolve to edit and I edited the previous video on the ultra wide monitor. My wife uses the same computer that had the ultra wide monitor for bookkeeping. Incidentally, within the same 24 hour period without consulting each other, we both decided, yeah, nah, the ultra wide life is not for me. Bigger ultra wide monitors may be different, but at 2560 by 1080, it felt a bit cramped. So the hunt began for a 27 inch 1440p monitor. Just for the record, 1080p is full HD at 1920 by 1080. 1440p is QHD or WQHD at 2560 by 1440, but neither of those are quite as large as 4K, which is 3840 by 2160. All of this had to be done on a scrapyard techie budget, which is as little as possible. Incidentally, that's why I ended up with only a 25 inch widescreen and not something bigger, because it was cheap. So onto Gumtree and Facebook Marketplace to try and find one. Picked one and negotiated a price. I went and saw it working. I paid the agreed price and it was mine. A shiny used Dell Ultra Sharp U2713HM at 2560 by 1440. I got it home, I plugged in power, I plugged in HDMI and bam, 1080p. Wait, what? I Google the specs of the monitor and turns out it only does 1440p over DVI and display port. <sighs> So I tried a spare DVI cable that I had lying around and I got 1440p, but I had vertical bluey green lines all the way across the monitor. Did I kill it? I saw it working. It's too late. It's a Friday night. I'm going to bed. So I Google the specs again and turns out it only does 1440p by dual link DVI, not single link DVI. Turns out there's a difference. Every DVI cable that I had, however, was single link. By this point it was Sunday, so everywhere that was open was just stupidly expensive. I put a shout out on Facebook to see if anybody had any suitable cables, and my friends Jordy and Dan hooked me up with some cables that got me full 1440p resolution. So if you're going to go big resolution, get the right cables. It helps, just, you know, a lot. After all that, Welcome to 1440p. You can comfortably fit a full HD 1080p video inside and still have room to move. It's still only 2560 wide, but somehow it feels better and bigger than the ultra wide 2560 by 1080. Now I'm used to using two monitors, not at 1440p, but at 1080p. And at the moment, I'm just using the single 1440p monitor, but I'm finding I'm not missing the second monitor at all. There's just so much room for activities. Other ultra wides might be different, like the big ones, but like I said, scrapyard techie budget. We're not going that big because expensive. Who knows, you might try it and like it, but at the moment, not in my budget, not for me. Don't like it. Anyway, if you wanna see more, subscribe. If you liked what you saw, or even if you didn't, you know, show us your thumbs. And uh, if you wanna follow along on social media, Facebook, scrapyard techie, Instagram, scrapyard underscore techie, or Twitter, scrapyard techie with no space, just to keep you on your toes. Anyway, thanks. Bye.